Hello friends, loved ones, and other creatures from the deep dark internet. My name is Dr. Rice, also known as Dr. Mitch, and welcome to the video. Today we have another spicy topic talking about the sort of new virus known as the monkeypox virus. We're gonna be diving into a little bit about what the heck monkeypox virus even is, and then taking a look at the top five symptoms that monkeypox virus causes that you need to be aware of. Let's Go. So the monkeypox virus is classified as an orthopox virus. Another famous virus in this family, if you will, is the smallpox virus. This virus actually causes very similar symptoms to that of the monkeypox virus, which we will talk about in a second. Monkeypox differs from the COVID virus, which many of us are quite familiar with at this point, because monkeypox is a DNA virus, whereas COVID is an RNA virus. This basically just means that the way in which each of these viruses replicate within our bodies is slightly different. The monkeypox virus has probably been infecting human beings for thousands of years, but it was first isolated in the 1950s in Africa from a certain population of monkey known as the macaques. This is obviously where the name monkeypox virus comes from. We then have the first documented official case report of monkeypox virus infecting humans in the 1970s in the Republic of Congo. So fun fact, going back a couple of decades, if you all may have remembered, there was a monkeypox outbreak here in the United States in the year 2003. An article published in the medical journal Lancet in 2004 stated that the overall clinical picture or clinical symptoms of monkeypox was clinically indistinguishable from that of the smallpox virus. The monkeypox virus can be transmitted from individual to individual through a myriad of ways, but these primarily fall into two major categories, which are human to human contact, as well as animal to human contact. So let's get to the crux of this video, talking about the top five symptoms. The incubation period that we see before the development of symptoms is about six to 13 days, which essentially means that you come in contact with the virus for six to 13 days before the onset of symptoms. The top five symptoms to look out for are number one, rash, which is a very distinct and characteristic rash, similar to that of the smallpox virus. Number two, fevers. Number three, chills. Number four, lymph adenopathy or swollen lymph nodes that predominantly present under your neck or jaw, underneath your armpits, as well as in the groin region. And then number five is a headache. Now, the interesting thing about the monkeypox virus, similar to that of the smallpox virus, is that you have a prodrome of symptoms two through five before you actually get the rash. So what this means is that you will have signs and symptoms of headache, fever, chills, and that lymph adenopathy present about two to three days before you actually see the development of the rash. The characteristics of this rash is quite distinct for monkeypox virus, and that is it starts off with little vesicles that form primarily on the face and the trunk or midsection of the body, and then migrate outwardly or peripherally towards the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet. These little lesions start as vesicles and then they form into something known as pustules, which basically are like pimples, but don't go like Dr. Pimple Popper and, and, and trying to, to pop them, that's not a good thing. And then these lesions eventually scab, crust over and go away in about two to three weeks. So to summarize a little bit of the clinical picture that you would see, you would have starting off getting fevers, chills, lymphadenopathy, and headache for about two to three days, and then the development of the rash that has characteristic vesicles slash pustules starting on the face, the chest, and the back, and then spreading peripherally to the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. The good thing about the monkeypox virus, especially the strain that's been seen here in the United States, is that it has a very low mortality rate and most people make a full recovery. Now this doesn't undermine the fact that people can and have died from this virus, but again, the probability and the chances are quite low. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like me to do an additional video about the monkeypox virus, please leave a comment down below. As always guys, thank you so much for sticking with me through the end of this video and I will see you all on the next one.